Okay, judges, let's go over a few ground rules. Now, it looks like we don't have our normal X's, but can you show us the X's you have? Yes, here it is. I actually I got a button here. <laughs> <laughs> or I also have this, maybe. Oh, I <laughs> Okay, thank you, darling. All right, our first act is straight from their pickup truck in Cedar City, Utah. It's Chris and Sid. That's right. Simon. Hi, guys. Hey, looking you? good, looking good, Simon. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So where are you? I'm actually parked in my truck right now in my yard. And uh, here in Cedar City, Utah, this is Sid right here. And she's- Hi, Sid. Say hi. She's supposed to be a cow dog, but she's to tell the truth, she's kind of scared of cows. <laughs> well, a couple of us have got our dogs to help uh, audition this time. I've got Squidly, and this is Daisy. Say hi, Sid. <laughs> and what's your full-time job, Sid? Sid, she uh, <laughs> she's a good companion. That's what she does for a living. She's my best friend. I think you meant Chris. <laughs> yeah, I, Simon. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. You're asking me. Yeah, I okay, beg your pardon. I got, I, I got the names mixed up. <laughs> I'm not a dog full time. <laughs> I mean, she, she she can sing a little bit, but she has a hard time talking. <laughs> okay, let me start again. What is your, what is your full time job, Chris? My full time job right now. I am a graphic designer, and I do a little bit of music on the side. And, and just to be clear, <laughs> Sid is a full-time dog she's a full-time dog full-time best friend as well oh, she's adorable she's, she's a good one okay so um what would winning a million dollars mean to you well we want to be able to help people um my big dream is to be able to start an equine therapy program for people with disabilities uh that's something i really want to do and it would uh make a lot of that possible good for you okay well you seem like a very nice person she's adorable we're all watching Oh, thank you. You ready, Sid? You ready? You ready? <laughs> Just look at you, girl Standing here beside me Starlight on your head Looking like a dream I dreamed somewhere And look at me, girl You got me acting just like a lover In an old time picture show And how I got the part I just don't know But it's written all across your face Plain as it can be, the one that I was looking for, and now you're all that I can see. And you mean everything to me, and I'd do anything to have you stay forever. I'm an ordinary man, but I feel like I could do anything. Uh, brilliant. Yes! Bravo! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Sid. Thank you. Good singing. Seriously. Uh, you know what? You've got a good voice. Uh, your dog actually was singing along with you. Yeah. She does pretty good. I mean, that's unbelievable. Thank you. Um, and Squidly actually was kind of tapping her head along as it went along. So we both actually loved it. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. Genius. What did you think, Sophia? Um, I thought it was all perfect. Him, his dog, the dog singing. I mean, it was fantastic. It was beautiful. It was very heartwarming. But I have a question. How did you find out that she could do this? So it was late, late one night we were driving. I drive a lot for work and she was just a pup and she was sitting right next to me and I always have the radio on and I started singing and she just started singing too and she would not quit. And so ever since then, we've been singing together. I loved it. The whole thing is perfect. 
the connection that you guys have. I really think that America would fall in love with you guys. I wish they were with us right now, all the fans, because I know they would be on their feet right now, all clapping for you and rooting for you. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. I agree. Um, Howie, what did you think? I thought, it was, listen, I think that you're a really good singer and I think this is a nice combination. I'm not sure. Do you think the dog is actually singing along with him or telling him to stop? Possibly. <laughs> like, you like, don't know. It was singing on the beat. It was. I think you're exactly what uh, um, the world needs right now. You put a smile on my face and uh, warmth in our heart. And uh, thank you for being part of it. I love the. Hopefully you'll get the votes and then you'll uh, carpoodle here to L.A. <laughs> Thank you so much. So uh, we're going to have to vote. Howie? Yes. First, yes. Heidi? Yes. Sophia? Yes. Um, you've actually got five yeses. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations, Chris and Sid. Congrats. You are now under consideration to join the competition on America's Got Talent season 15. How did that make you feel? Very good, thank you so much. I've never seen anything like that before. Thank you. Say, say, say goodbye, Squidly. Say goodbye, say goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye. <laughs> All right, Jack is eight years old from Weston, Florida. Please welcome Alexis Brownlee. Sophia, meet Alexis. Hola, Alexis, how are you? Good. What you been doing? Well, I've been doing online school, passing with dogs, and a lot of TikTok. Oh, that's great. <laughs> How old are you? I'm eight years old. And what are you going to do? I'm going to be doing an amazing dog show. It's called The Puppy Pals. Ah. Oh. Is that your dream, to be a super famous dog trainer all over the world? In everywhere. Great. Good for the you. The world. The world. The earth. <laughs> okay, so we're so excited that you're here today because we're ready for you. Good luck. No, we'll be starting in one sec. Is that a real dog? Yes, it's beautiful. Is it alive? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's waiting. I don't think that's a real dog. Here we go. I've got to tell you, Alexis, you are a gifted, brilliant little dog trainer um, because I have a couple of rescue dogs and to get a rescue dog just to be comfortable is hard enough. To be able to do what you've done with it means that you have a gift. It was so much fun. I loved it. Brilliant. Heidi, what did you think? We needed this right now, Alexis. I love your outfit, your beautiful smile. It really put me in a much better mood, made me like forget about everything else right now. I absolutely loved it. You are a sunshine, you really are. Howie, did you like it? 
Uh, no, I loved it. I'm also fascinated what goes on in people's yards. But the ability that you have to train three dogs and two parents like that is something we haven't seen before. <laughs> and the way you're in Florida and you're taking care of these animals and the way you dress, I'm going to call you Alexis Exotic. You are the puppy queen of this quarantine. We're ready to vote. I think it was amazing. I want to see it. I want to see you again. I'm going to give you your first yes. Simon. Second yes. Heidi. Third yes. Howie. Four. Bravo. All right. Our first act is Max Major. Max is a mentalist. Now, Sophia, he's going to need you to have a pack of cards. All right. Okay, Sophia, meet Max. Hi, Max. Hi how are you? Hey, Sophia. I'm doing good. I'm really excited. I never thought in a million years this would be how we would meet each other. I love your background, by the way. Yes. Thank you very much. Very, very mysterious. mysterious. Max, where are you from? Where are you right now? Well, I'm in Las Vegas right now. I just moved here earlier this year, but I'm from a very small town in Maryland. Uh, which is called Woodbine. Oh my God, so you moved to, to Las Vegas and then all this happens? Uh, yeah. yeah, and you know, I, I've had to adapt just like everyone else. You know, as an entertainer, I'm used to performing for people face to face. Yeah. But lately I've been experimenting with video calls and video chats and I've been amazed myself at some of the things I've been able to accomplish. Oh, how great. So then are you ready to, to show us what you're gonna do today for us? Yeah, I would love to share something with you guys. Okay, let's start. So, you know, I was just thinking, it's it's so easy. Sorry, my, my dogs happens. have gone crazy. Hang on. Yeah, mine's, mine's being quiet in the room next door. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I was just saying it's so easy for all of us to feel disconnected, you know, wherever we are in the world. And so since I can't be there with you physically, you know, on the stage, I'm going to try to connect with you guys mentally. So oh, wow. here's what I want you to do. I want each of you, uh, as well as everyone watching at home, to put your hands out in front of you, just like mine, with your fingers spread wide apart. Good. And I'm going to attempt to control your mind through the screen. So I want you to squeeze your hands together nice and tight, your thumbs crossed on top, and bring your hands up like you're making a prayer. And then take your two index fingers, your pointer fingers, and put them towards the sky together like mine, just like this. Good. And then I want you to separate those two fingers by about an inch and look at your fingers. And imagine they were coming closer and closer together. Imagine magnets, teeny tiny magnets, pulling those fingers closer and closer, tighter and tighter. And the closer they get, the tighter they pull until eventually those fingers touch. That and when is they so touch, weird. they can just become stuck fast, stuck like glue. The that more is you so fight, weird. the more possible You're controlling it, it? We're not just doing it. That is so weird. And you guys can release and shake your hands out. I love that. That wow. is so weird. Uh, I wanted to try to create a deeper connection with one of you. I heard Terry mention Sophia had a deck of cards. Could you could you hold one of those uh, decks of cards up? I'm going to see if I can match not just our thoughts, but our actions as well, Sophia, through the screen. Okay, because I couldn't do that finger thing. I don't know. It didn't work for me. Well, this will give you a chance to let go a little bit and use your imagination. So we'll form a deeper connection here, just one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Uh, can you take your cards out of the box? You can just throw those like advertisements away if they're in there and if there's a joker you can toss them aside uh, and then when you're ready spread the cards towards you i want you to find a card that speaks to you and pull it up but don't let anyone see the face perfect and then take the rest of the deck i know it's hard with two hands and flip it around and put that card in there backwards turn the rest of the cards towards us the whole deck so smooth, Sophia, so smooth. I'm very good with my great. hands. Hi. There you go, and slide it in backwards. <laughs> okay. Sophia, I have to ask, when you did this, did you just choose a card completely at random, or was it one that kind of spoke to you or jumped out to you? It was kind of like in the middle. <laughs> well, it's the moment of truth. I want you to spread your cards back out and pull the one card out and show everyone what is the card that spoke to you. Ade diamantes. The Ace of Diamonds. Now, before this whole thing began, I did the same thing that you did. I reached in my deck and I turned one card around. I'm going to do this very slowly so you can see there's literally only one card in the deck facing the opposite direction of every card, right in the center, just like yours was. And I'll show you the whole deck. But the crazy thing is, even though we're hundreds of miles apart, somehow we could still Whoa. connect. Oh wow. my wow. God! <laughs> Wow! How did that happen? 
You're a demon. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Howie. And obviously, this is just what we're doing over video chat. You know, given the opportunity to come on the AGT stage, I promise I'll take everything to the next level. But hopefully you see how, even if we're not in the same room, I can somehow get inside your heads. I liked it. I like you, too. I think you... You're a good looking, charming person. And um, I would love to see you on the big stage also. I thought this was really cool. Thank you. What did you think, Howie? I thought it was amazing. And everything you did worked. And I can only imagine what you can do with the big stage that AGT provides. Um, you're an amazing mentalist. You know what? I really, at the beginning, I thought this is not going to be good. But then when I saw the card and, and me actually do it, now I believe. I wish I'd actually been you, actually. I, I wanted to be the one who kind of was part of that because it must have felt quite spooky. Completely. Well, you know, I, I believe that people have magic powers. I genuinely, genuinely do. Uh, the fact that you made the effort, you know, with your presentation for a magician, it's really important because it shows that you care. It's a definite yes. A yes for me as well. <laughs> Are we? Yes! <laughs> He's still stuck. And I'm gonna say yes, so you're oh my gosh. <laughs> What's up? Oh uh, the herds, they are oh fam. Oh. oh my goodness! What's up? <laughs> They're excited, I like it. They're excited. What's up? I know who you are, Terry. They oh man, it's, it's so nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, nice to all right, they are a family act from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Heidi. Hi, the Hertz family. So nice to Hi. meet you virtually. I love your, I love your shirt. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you trying to get brownie points with me already? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say, you all look very cute. What will you guys be doing for us today? That's what I want to know. We are a dancing family, like to have fun. And so, yeah, we're just going to... Dance for you guys today. I would like to know every baby's name, please. Tell them your name. Okay. My name is Elijah. I agree. Elijah, okay. My name is Ellen. I am six and I love my family. Ooh, good. <laughs> my name is Emmanuel and tomorrow is my 12th birthday. Happy, right. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. And my name is Emmanuel the first and I am 35. So tell us, who is your favorite judge? Kate. <laughs> who? Kate. 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 That, that's, my, that's my other name. Ah, okay. <laughs> Simon, Simon Kate Softcow. <laughs> my middle name, yeah. Okay, Hertz family, I wish you good luck, have fun, and let's do this. Let's do this, Hertz family, let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. The energy. I'm excited. I can make you feel where this funk came from. I can make you feel. I can make you feel where this funk came from. to step it up a little bit at home with my husband and my four kids. That's all I can say. <coughs> Simon, what did you think? I actually want to be at your house right now. You are invited. Fun, original, love the fact you're a family. Very TikTok right now. Mm -hmm. um, very current. Love to see you guys in front of an audience. Thank you! Thank you. <laughs> so now, guys, guys, 
Nice. <laughs> Should we hear what Howie has to say about this? Yeah, I agree with everything Kate said. I, think, <laughs> I thought the two of you are so in sync. Yeah. And then the joy and the smile comes to my face when the two little ones come in and gives us the good, warm feeling that America's Got Talent does. So, Kate, you were right. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> it was so heartwarming. It's a little group that we were missing, a little family yeah. dancing group. So let's vote. Heard family, I think this sounded all very good. So I'm going to kick it off with your first yes. Yes! 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 Now we want to know what your favorite judge, Kate, has to say. Kate is going to give you your second yes. Yes! 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 Of course, yes! Yes! <laughs> and what about Howie Mandel? Oh my God! <laughs> Four yeses! Thank you so yes. much! Oh you. my goodness! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> All right, our first act is Aaron Bonk. He is 43 years old. Take it away, Simon. Aaron, how are you? I'm fabulous. How are you today, Simon? Yeah, I'm, I'm, well, thank God. We're all doing good, thank you. So where are you right now? Uh, I'm in the backyard in Clearwater, Florida. Uh, what I'm going to do for you is a little too dangerous for indoors, so I'm going to be doing this out back. Wow. So, Aaron, t tell me about a, a bit about yourself, what you've been doing, and why um, entering this show and winning the show is important to you. Well, I am a danger comedy juggler and whip artist. The more people that I can get smiling and having a good time, the better. And, and, and where do you see this at going? Vegas? That would be the dream, to have yeah. uh, my own stage, my own show in Vegas. Is this something dangerous that you're going to do? Yes, it is. And is there other people with you there in case something happens? <laughs> there are. There's uh, somebody with a fire extinguisher. Oh, and, okay. Uh, they're keeping safely away and hopefully won't need to get too close. Did you just say fire extinguisher? I did. Well, I'm not going to ask you any more questions. You have our total focus and attention. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, he's got a chainsaw. Oh, man. Oh, no. This guy's nuts. What was that, a cucumber? are going to do <laughs> if anything were to go wrong okay with a chainsaw <laughs> well look Aaron we're going to have to take into account that you know you're in a limited space right now but I presume if you were to go on the live shows you've got something much bigger for us next time given a stage I can do bigger bolder more dangerous I can even light myself on fire okay Sophia what did you think it was super um exciting i didn't know what was going to happen and i i kind of like enjoyed it and what about you heidi i liked it too i think you're a very courageous man you're also a very good looking man and i would like to see what you would do next thank you okay howie as far as presentation and everything I, you know I, I don't know what i was thinking about you know i'm used to the big glitz and glamour of our stage and not a neighbor staring out the window going there's the goofball again with the chainsaw and the fire what do the neighbors say about this <laughs> they don't tend to talk to me much i wouldn't talk to you either 
And I hope that you get out of quarantine soon and get to finish that haircut. <laughs> Well, look, you know what, Aaron, I've got to hand it to you. You, you are gutsy. I think, you know, in this particular instance, we're really going to have to use our imagination and, and imagine what this could look like on a bigger stage. Uh, the fact that you've told us you're prepared to set yourself on fire is beginning to give me a vision of what this act could be like. So um, I'd like to be the first to kick this off with a yes. Woo! Yeah. Sophia. Yes, I can't wait to see more. Yes! Heidi? I say yes. That's three yeses. Howie? You got your fourth yes. Woo! Come on! It's Tommy Socks from his home in Boca Raton, Florida. Heidi, meet Tommy. Hi, Tommy Socks. Uh-oh. Tommy, are you there? I lost video. Just press that video icon in the corner there. What do you want me to do? Hit where it says video at the bottom. Tommy, are you there? There we go. <laughs> okay, Heidi. I'm Heidi, and it's so nice to meet you virtually. I uh, would like to know, who are you quarantining with, Tommy? My beautiful wife of 60 years. You want to see her? Of yeah. course. There you go. Wow, there you go. 60 years. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, oh hi. hi. Yes. Tommy Socks, may I ask you your age? Or is that very highly inappropriate? No, it's not inappropriate. I'm 84, and I'm proud of it. Yeah. You both look amazing. I need to do my very lousy impression of Simon Cowell when after he watched somebody perform. You ready? Oh, good. Do it. To be perfectly honest with you, I didn't like it a bit. That, <laughs> that was that brilliant. Was <laughs> Would you guys like to know how I met my wife? Yes. Oh, okay. Wow. I was in construction as a carpenter and on the second floor, I fell off I, and I, I woke up in the hospital and who's taking my x-ray? This beauty over here. No. Ah. But wow. I, I was a mess and I'm trying to hit on her. And she wouldn't pay attention to me. So I said, I fell for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, yes. if, that's, if that's not a corny, <laughs> and this is the end result. Oh. oh my God, that's amazing and so romantic. I always tell the kids I saw right through your dad from the day I met him. Yeah, x-ray. Tommy, I have to say it, knock our socks off. I eat. Very yeah. good. Oh, I love it. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> good. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. <laughs> Sometimes I wish we could do these things always in people's houses. I love this. It is so nice to see how everyone lives. You get to meet like the whole family. I don't know. It's just really cute. Like how can you not fall in love with you guys? Thank you, know, you. Like, you two look so cute. I love your dancing. I mean, you're like Mr. Happy Feet there. That oh, thank you. That's the whole idea. Sophia, what did you think of Mr. Tommy Socks? I think he's amazing. I think both of them are amazing. They look like so happy. I want to have a marriage like that. Look at them, how they are after 60 years, right? That's um, it. Simon, what did you think? I was thinking, are you the best dancer we've had? No, but your personality, even before you started to do your act, I really like both of you. So likable, so much fun. You're hilarious. 
Yeah. Wow. Wow. What about yeah. you, Howie? I feel like I'm on FaceTime with my parents in Boca. <laughs> it's always like everybody's kind of like uh, out of frame a little bit. Anyway, you were, <laughs> you, were, <laughs> you were terrific. And you know what? I wasn't expecting the James Brown moves. You are so smooth and so slick and so lovable. I love you, buddy. I accomplished my mission. So, Howie, what are you going to give him in the voting? Oh, yes. Sophia. Oh. Yes, I love it. Simon. I absolutely love you, and I'm going to say yes. Oh, thank you, guys. I'm going to give you a fourth yes. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. I can't believe it. You have it. Oh, 